So Bloomberg reports that the next version of watchOS may introduce a all new lineup of widgets uh, for Apple Watch users uh, with watchOS 10. I would say this surely sounds like Apple is widgetizing themselves and joined the party that Android has been having for many years since the beginning of Android. Now, I'm not sure if these new widgets will make me more likely uh, to use my Series 5 any different than the way I use it now for other than I track my fitness and of course I ignore spam calls from telemarketers. So I guess I can say that I'm more of a watcher than a watch user. Get it? <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Anyway, according to German, the new interface will be reminiscent of the Siri watch interface that we have now on the, I guess, watchOS 9. And this is actually, according to German, the biggest change, the biggest software change since Apple introduced the Apple Watch in 2015. So let me get this straight. This is the biggest software change since the Apple Watch came out uh, with the introduction in 2015. and looks just like the Siri watch face. I don't know, Apple. Talk about talk about baby steps. Meanwhile, we have self-driving cars. We have drones that can deliver packages. But I am sure that this this new this new watch face will definitely revolutionize the world. Now this is a short video, so in closing, um German is also suggesting that there won't be any Hardware changes coming to the Apple Watch anytime soon. But well, I guess, you know what? We have to make do with what we had with this small wrist size computer that, you know, we've had for the past um, almost 10 years now. I'm so bummed out. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess Apple looks at this this way. If it ain't broke, then don't fix it. And I will say, I am on the edge of my seat with excitement with these rumors of the interface change coming to watchOS. Be sure to subscribe to Apple Fan Dads for all the latest. See you in the next one.